Jess just went back with a guy on the back of his truck. And now I'm trying to get back into town. I don't know what to do. Wait, what the hell is going on and what are we even talking about? I'll start at the beginning. Uh, Steffi fell down and hurt her, hurt her leg today. And then you fell on the bike today. Yeah, we gotta be careful, guys. <laughs> what, you, what's, what hurts? Nothing yet. I still just have that curse tattoo. That's right, this is Jess, and this is her curse tattoo. There is a tradition in Thailand where you can meet with a monk, monk, and discuss your hopes, fears, and dreams, and then they make a unique design for you, sight unseen. In Jess's case, there's only one problem, though. I think the monk uh, messed up one of the words. <laughs> this is the bear, and he looked down, and he was just like, uh, oh, she just kept going. going. <laughs> yeah, they're like, ah! It's on my back, so, like, can I can't read it? Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> you <laughs> we met Jess the day she got her tattoo in a hostel in Chiang Mai. She's from Australia and she had been traveling for months by herself with literally no problems. Three days after getting her new ink, well, let's just say she's become a little more accident prone. Dude, how are you going to drive tomorrow? really early and we are about to hop on our bikes and head back to Chiang Mai. Nate's got a crazy day today. So he's gonna hop on a bike with us, then he's gonna catch his flight in Chiang Mai to Bangkok, then go Bangkok to Beijing, Beijing to New York, then he's gotta make his way to his actual house. So we think it'll be about 40, 43 hours or something. Yeah, we needed things to go smoothly today. You know, the, you know the most shocking thing was? I just found out today that yesterday was the first day in which she was driving a motorcycle. Yeah, really. She drove for five hours yesterday. Mm -hmm. She was scary in the beginning. I do that learn. Yeah, you're great, you're in one piece. If I, if I had known that, I would have uh, I would have pulled a 30-year-old man card. <laughs> and I would have been like, mm -mm -mm, no, no. I don't think so. Which brings us back to now. Nate, Jess, and I grabbed some 7-Eleven Toasties and hit the road for our five-hour ride back to Chiang Mai. About 30 minutes into our trip, disaster strikes and Jess gets a flat tire. After setting her off with a literal stranger, we find out Nate's tire is flat too. I'll let stressed out Brad explain. Uh, this is bad. I'm all alone right now. Nate has to go catch his flight. So he took my bike. Jess just went back with a guy on the back of his truck into town and I'm supposed to be following her, but Nate's bike also has a flat tire. And now I'm trying to get back into town. I don't know what to do. I guess I'm gonna vlog about it. I'm Brad. Brad. Yes, I'm from New York City. Oh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes, nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> Goodbye, Ep. Thank you. Bye, Ep. Something tells me the story isn't over. Good news, getting my tire fixed. Bad news, I'm not at the same shop that Jess is, so I don't know where she is. So I get back on my bike and drive through town until, thankfully... Jess, are you dead? I'm not dead. The tire's getting Things are good. Thanks. God, I was so worried. I was like, oh, okay, so my tire's fixed and Jess is in a ditch. Well, here's Thailand. Guys, oh enjoy. Finally, Jess and I get back on the road. 
As expected, though, exhaustion sets in and we stop at a creepy Halloween cafe in the middle of nowhere. It is the strongest cup of coffee I've ever had in my life. Side effects include... Yeah! Because I feel great when I have coffee in my mouth. Yum, yum. Delicious. Oh, that's a cool waterfall. Oh, get out of the way, butterflies. You guys is crazy. There's like a hundred butterflies and I'm driving through them because they're gonna hit me in the face, but I got my glasses on. Get out of the way, butterflies. I'm gonna hit you. Yum, yum, yum. Brown. <laughs>